hello good morning welcome back and welcome to a fall vlog i am so excited to get started i already have my pumpkin spice latte from starbucks ready to go and we're just getting in the fall mood so in order to do that we first need to make a mood board so anything from outfits to overall vibes i just want to go on pinterest get some inspo maybe make a new computer background because i haven't had one since the end end of last year beginning of this year so i could definitely use a refresh and something sweet to see every time i open up my laptop so step one is getting inspired then step two we need to go through all the decor i have so i have a whole box of halloween and fall decor so before i can go shopping for more i mean i've gone shopping a little bit but before i can buy anything else i need to just take inventory of what i have then maybe we'll do some shopping which will be the third step before decorating and just getting all the comfy cozy vibes starting off with my pinterest board i really just love fall fashion and everything comfy and cozy so the changing of the seasons is the perfect time to get re-inspired with fashion and just doing a little overall reset and refresh We've got a mini Target haul. All of this is from the dollar section and it is so cute. I'm getting prepped for fall. So I wanna show you what I got. All right, first up are these two little pumpkins. I love the color. I think they're so cute and they were each only $1. I mean, are they the highest quality I've ever seen in my life? No, but I think that they'll look really nice on like my entryway table or like dining table or something. So got these. The other pumpkin I got was this little guy, and this I think was $3. It's kind of like um, velvety material and very cute, just like a nice neutral aesthetic. Then if you watched my last video, you already know about these, but I am still in over them. I'm absolutely obsessed. I think they're so cute, fun for a little cocktail, or if you want to put some treats in here. They were each only $3 too, so good deal there. I love the dollar section for little like dishcloths. So these came in a pack of two, super cute. One is just plaid, and then the other one obviously has little pumpkins and tassels on it. And I think these were $3 for both of them as well. So excited to change out my summer ones and add these into the mix. And then the last things I got, which I think I already mentioned in a video as well, but they're these taper candles. They're so cute. I love that they're like just twisty and I think they'll be very aesthetically pleasing um, in my candlestick holders. They were each only $3 as well. So of course I had to pick up a few. I think I'm gonna put these like together and then these will probably just be off on their own but yeah so now that the mini haul is done it is time to start the decorating just unboxed all the halloween decor for some reason i thought we had more but you know this is this is definitely a good start got a few skulls a lot of pumpkins, some new hand towels, and this guy, I think he's my favorite. I'm so happy that he is out again. So we're gonna start with this stuff and then I'll go from there and see if I need to go do some shopping. And you know, regardless of how this turns out, I probably will be going shopping. <music> just went to Michael's and Home Goods and kind of a flop. The fact that it is currently what October 3rd and Christmas stuff is already out and it's already kind of the dregs of Halloween, just, you know, late stage capitalism at its finest 
pretty wild. Um, I might order a few things online at Michael's. I did get some pretty ivory satin ribbon for my hair, so hopefully I can make a cute little hairstyle. Um, but other than that, that was the only thing I bought, uh, thankfully. It only took me like 15 minutes to get here and hopefully will take me less than that to get back, but <laughs> they're kind of in their flop era. She's just the sweetest and I want to show you what's in it because it's just it almost made me cry because it's just so sweet and unexpected first This cutie shirt from my favorite coffee shop back home Love love how oversized it is. I will be wearing every single day whether or not it is fall um, She's perfect. I love her she got me, she knows I love Snoopy, so she got me some peanut stickers. And some cute little cocktail, like dried orange slices. Of course, a little card. Then, okay, first of all, this is adorable on its own, but inside was a giant margarita mix. So I will be using this very soon. Then some dipping oil. I love this for like, if you get like a fresh baguette or something, you just add olive oil to it, I believe. So good. Then two different Dolce de Leche's. Dolce de, that's how you say it, right? Tomato chutney from Cape Cod, which is near where I'm from. Then some little crackers. Some vanilla shortbread and I need to <laughs> I need to figure out how I'm going to open this I haven't opened it yet because it looks like a little bit spilled out but it's this cute little homemade honey produced by the Townsend family oh also from Massachusetts so it was just so sweet and unexpected and just really appreciate it good morning hello happy saturday this morning i'm so excited because i'm going with one of my friends to a pumpkin patch so i'm pretending that i'm living in east coast fall in la um that's why i'm going at 9 a.m um it's gonna heat up today and i wanted to wear a sweater and this was the only way i could do it so I woke up at 7 and here we are, makeup, hair, everything, so let me give you a little overview. I put on a little uh, white tee for after in case it gets hot and also just this like little layering moment. That's from Princess Polly. Then this was gifted to me from a brand called Darling. It's so soft and such good quality. This is my first time wearing it, so I'm so excited. I think it's just like a perfect fall staple. Then I got my little tote bag. And then my jeans are from Everlane. 
and my sneakers are from Madewell. I was really hoping, I literally scoured the internet for um, the UGG platform Taz's so I could have them for today. Um, I did find some, but unfortunately they will not be in until like, I don't know, early next week, which is fine. I still want them, um, obviously, but yeah, so I'm just grateful that I found a pair um, and was able to get those, but for now, the sneakers will do. I also meant to mention that I painted my nails and I think that they actually came out pretty good. I painted them this nice like mocha-y brown color so hopefully they will hold up and they can be another highlight of my fall pictures. Okay, just got back from the pumpkin patch. Oh, look how cutie. Um, I think it's called like a pumpkin pie pumpkin because it's like flat like a pie. Um, but they gave us Mr. Bones bucks for $5. So this pumpkin is only $1. She is beautiful. Can't wait to find a place of honor for her. But it was so much fun. It did heat up really fast, hence why I'm in a t-shirt. But I think we got some cute pics. Had a little like fall moment and then we went out for breakfast and I got pumpkin chocolate chip pancakes which were so good and it was just so nice to catch up with a friend. <laughs> 